Hi, and welcome back to this new video about YubiKey where we will return to the basic since um, Yubico released a new version of the management software and it will not completely replace the old Yubico manager and uh, I have a dedicated video about it, but it is uh, newer as a nicer UI. It does not come with command line utility, but it is very easy to use. So if you just bought uh, YubiKey and you question which software do I need to install to work with my YubiKey? The answer is you can use your YubiKey without any software, but if you are not installing YubiKey Authenticator, you are missing a big piece of the puzzle. So let's dive into the new YubiKey Authenticator software. If you are on Windows, you can download the software and install directly from Microsoft Store. So you don't need to even uh, spend time to searching the software, just open Microsoft Store, search Yubico Authenticator and install it. It's just so simple, very, very simple. It's the same for Mac OS. If you are in a Mac, you can simply use the App Store and search for Yubico Authenticator and you can install the software. So installation is way simple. If you open the software, you are presented with a nice interface and here is a bad thing about this application. It, it, and it's not determined by the application. In Windows, if you want to manage the key, you need to run this application as administrator. If you don't run this application as administrator, when you plug the key, it will simply tell you, I cannot install, I cannot manage your key. Now I'm going to use my um, security key, NFC. Is the one with the blue background, is the cheaper one, Is it, it costs about 25 euros. It has not the full capability of the YubiKey 5 series, but it is uh, really good. Uh, and, and if you're not a programmer, probably it is enough. And I'm gonna plug, I'm gonna plug in the USB port and you can click USB and it will rescan the port. And here we go. We have a security key NFC. It lists the uh, firmware version and at least the capability of the key, that is Fido U2F and the Fido 2. And here you are, you have your key ready to be managed. Now let's see what we can do. So uh, first thing at the right, you can have settings and the setting is simply the uh, setting of the application. It's not setting of the key. Since this is a basic um, security key NFC, it has no lot of applications. So here in the right, you, you see toggle application. It allow you to, um, disable or enable the various capability of the key. Since this is the basic key, it has only the uh, Fido2 and Fido U2F. So it, has all, it is only a Fido2 card, basically. And you can enable or disable this in capability, this individual capability, both from USB and from NFC. And uh, this is uh, not required, I'd usually leave all enabled. But if, for example, you are only using this key as USB and you are worried that someone can try to scan your key, it's, uh, uh, it's absolutely unlikely, you can disable the NFC function. And it, it's simple like disabling and press save. And here we go. We have disabled the NFC version. And now uh, I will re-enable the NFC chip and I save. So it's very simple. And you have the button to factory reset. It is important because if you uh, are in a company, if you are enrolling key to various person, uh, probably when you need to return your key to the to the company or the company itself want to uh, give the key to another uh, person, a factory reset will restore all the Yubico default, resetting everything inside it. So it is a very um, a, a very uh, hard function. If you press, it will enable a hey, data is stored, uh, blah 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 and you can select which application to reset. So you can reset the single application in this key, in this basic key, I have only the FIDO2. So it is the only thing that I can reset. And okay, let's press cancel. So I don't want my reset my key, even if it's a test key. And as you see, it's very simple to reset the, fun reset the, the key. After I unlock my key with the pin, I can verify that I have indeed a pass key for Google com YubiKey test demo uh, at gmail.com is my test demo for showing my YubiKey. 
you have all the data and you have the ability to delete the single pass key. And this is really important. This is a function that as for example, the Google Titan key does not have. The Google Titan key can be reset, but it cannot um, change, uh, delete a single credential. And I have also one SSH key. So this is an SSH. And here we are, the display name, the username. Uh, and so this is a key that I was using to connect to an SSH machine. Uh, both of these are demo. And nicely, it show how many pass key can I store inside this key. Since this has the newest firmware, it has 100 pass key uh, to use. And it is telling me that I'm using two of 100 pass key. And non pass key credential may exist because the key can have some credentials that are not pass key. And uh, these are accessible only from um, common line tool. And finally, uh, if you um, if you go to the pass key, you can have change pin in which you can simply change the pin of your YubiKey. And this is an operation that you need to do the first thing, the first thing you need to do when you buy a new YubiKey. You should go to the software and change the pin, but do not worry because if you try to use your YubiKey, it's the operating system that determined that you are using a uh, new key and you have not changed the default pin and the operating system will prompt you to change the default pin. So even if you don't use the Yubico Authenticator software, the operating system is, uh, it can do everything for you. But thanks to the Yubico software, it's very simple to manage your uh, stored credential. You can delete single credential and everything gets really simple. Clearly, when you evaluate which is the hardware key that is uh, most useful for you, it is important not only to verify the basic capability, the hardware capability of the key, but it's best sometimes to look at the software that the company is giving you to manage the key. Because even if operating system are um, have all the tools you need to manage basic function of security key, as you can see, Yubico has the unique advantage over, as an example, a Titan, Google Titan key of showing and listing and deleting a single credential. And this is important. Having a nice UI to manage your hardware security key is, in my opinion, a very good aspect of YubiKey. And so that is the reason why I'm choosing and I tell people to choose YubiKey over other uh, equivalent alternative because I think that it has a dramatic support, a very, very good support from the community and from the company. And so in my opinion, it's probably the best choice. Bye-bye.